Hi, here we are in my garden and this is under the what not to do cliffs and I'm in terrible trouble. I don't know about you but when I planted a tree I thought in it goes, the roots will be deep enough. We get a lot of rain here in Ireland so we shouldn't have a problem. Now wherever you are you mightn't get as much rain or you might get loads of rain and you've had problems with planting trees. Well I'm just about to get eaten alive here. Yeah, I'm just sharpening my fangs here. This poor Cotone Aster, it's evergreen, put in here for screening and it's under sycamore, it's right next to another purple plum. So this huge competition for moisture under here. So I'm afraid, I suspect, you failed to come out and water it. Well, now listen, um, I didn't water it every week, if that's what you're <laughs> and wondering. What you need to do is a really How good often? soaking. How I mean, often? you're talking here of a couple of canfuls once a week. I mean, really good so Like loads of it. Loads yeah, of it, okay. because it's got huge competition. It was in a pot. It's only got a small area of root to soak up. And it's got all these leaves, which there are a few left to, to maintain. So do you think we're surviving? We're surviving. Some Just of the lower about. branches here have gone, so we can trim those off. Okay, so they're, got, they're dead, They're is dead, it? they're oh dead. Lord. Now, here I noticed one which is still looking alive. The tip, it looks like it's gone. I need the specs. So would you take off the tip then? Um, I'll take off the tip back to where it's live, which is approximately about there. there at a bud. And will we know now having... Oh yeah, it's green. Yeah, it's green. Okay. And, and the way to check too is you get your thumbnail and you just nick the bark slightly and right. if it's green underneath, it's alive. Well, so. isn't that interesting? I have to say now. Um, so what we'll get you to I do never now, knew you chop off the bits that were dead on the branch. Well, you don't want them to sort of hanging about there, maybe bringing in disease and things. So we'll right. chop off okay. the Right, okay. That looks a little bit, yeah, okay. Yeah. Chop off the dead bits. Right. Okay, we're in the winter now. The canopy above is gone. The leaves are gone. So it will be getting a certain amount of moisture. Okay. With evergreen trees, because things are evergreen, they need yeah. water in, in the winter because the leaves are what we call transpiring the whole time, um, oh evaporating I moisture from oh the plants. Oh, I see. Okay. So it'll need That's moisture. All dead. Isn't that just dreadful? And I can't believe mulch it. Mulch it now well with manure in the spring. Right. Just to give it a feed. And should I and give it manure now? Well, you can do it now, yeah. Yeah, it'll be okay. Better probably waiting for the spring, but you could certainly okay. do it now. If okay. And don't forget to water it next year yeah and it needs up on you. it needs serious watering well it there needs you go serious watering for a couple of years to get it established so you know yeah. what you're saying to me susan you're saying to me that you put things in the garden you need to look after them. exactly and um it needs to be on the list in the kitchen and the other water thing to watch, your tree. to watch out for if we get which we won't here and under here it should be frost protected oh yeah but what can happen with conifers and things if you get a very deep frost especially if they're newly planted yeah the ground freezes the roots can't take up moisture which they need to do in the winter oh right and the thing dies of drought so what do I do then if we well, get some snow, which we could well, easily get an here? And I'm sure maybe if you're watching this video clip, you might be getting snow in your place. What do well, we do? Snow, snow will insulate the ground and we don't get oh, those very, yeah. very deep frosts here. I mean, last year was un unusual. Unusual, minus snow 15. Is an yeah. But it's just freshly planted things. Even, you know, the mulch will help protect it as well. Oh, right. OK. Well, look, there you go. This is not what to do. And it is found at Gardenville.tv. The mistakes a new gardener like myself make. And you don't realise that you're killing off things in your garden. Yep. But if you'd like to share information with us, tips on what, what, what you do um, in your garden, do join us at Gardenville.tv. We're at Facebook. We're on Twitter on our website at www.gardenville.tv. I'll leave Susan continue to do uh, a yeah, clipping I'll here. be um, checking up on her next year, don't worry. And until the next time.